medicine has been the key to longevity of the human species since the beginning of time. The development of drugs, surgery, and therapy have enabled our species to live longer than ever before. Our tale today takes us to the year 1928 in London, England, on a day which looked like every other. But little did the hero of our story know today that he was on a quest that would change the face of medicine forever. Who was this hero? Dr. Alexander Fleming, an average man, but far from an average scientist. He is the founder of a strategy that mankind has used to cure us from infections of all sorts. He is the founder of antibiotics. Dr. Alexander Fleming was a humble bacteriologist at St. Mary's Hospital in London, England, and was often considered lazy. He set up a culture of bacteria on a plate called Staphylococcus and went off on a two-week vacation. Upon returning to the lab, he noticed a peculiar fungus growing on the plate that would stop the growth of Staphylococcus. He described the fungus as a sort of white matter that would change color from dark green to black to yellow. He extracted the mold and determined that it belonged to a special class of fungus called penicillium. He then further named the active ingredient penicillin. He concluded that this specific type of mold has very special antibacterial properties and it can specifically stop the bacterial growth of Staphylococcus types. It was unfortunate, however, that he did not have the capability to extract this compound himself in a manner that can be used for the public. So he published his studies in 1929 and sent off the samples of penicillium to labs across the world. Now our story takes us 10 years into the future, in 1939, to the lab of Dr. Howard Florey and the German Dr. Elric Chain. Dr. Florey was very interested in compounds that had antibacterial action and stumbled upon Dr. Fleming's papers of penicillium. Dr. Florey and Dr. Chain set out to grow penicillium and extract it as they were biochemists and had the knowledge that Dr. Fleming lacked to purify and extract the active ingredient penicillin. It was in the summer of 1940 where Dr. Florey and Dr. Chain set up an experiment that would change the trajectory and the importance of penicillin. They bred 50 mice and infected them all with deadly streptococcus. They then gave 25 of these mice penicillin treatment and 25 were left alone with the infection. The results of the experiment were truly groundbreaking as the mice that were treated with the penicillin successfully survived and those that were not treated died. This very experiment laid the foundation for the trials of penicillin in humans and eventually be used as everyday medicine. Now let's look at where penicillin has taken us today. In 1944, during the Second World War, penicillin was used by the Allies to successfully treat the infection of thousands of soldiers, enabling the brave forces to go on and win the war. And that very next year, the heroes of our story, Dr. Florey, Dr. Chain, and Dr. Fleming, were awarded with the Nobel Prize for the discovery of penicillin. To date, penicillin has saved over 200 million lives and catalyzed the research for new antibacterials. It is only through discoveries such as these that we can hope to extend the lifespan of our species and continue to expand the bounds of medicine and science.